little follow up on my radium compass danger video that I did a while back. Got a new specimen here. World War One Mark One Magnetic Marching Compass TG Co. Limited. I believe this was the British Army's standard issue marching compass back in World War One, early 20th century. And you can see quite a bit of radium under the crystal there. Couple on the couple spots on the needle there. A few on the uh, degrees card there. And then you also see a big old line of exposed radium paint right there on the sighting mirror. And then another little spot there at the top. A little dot underneath there too. Crap is everywhere. So yeah, when you hear those collectors telling you that it's okay if it's underneath the crystal, don't don't buy it. That stuff's right there. You flake that off with your finger, man. You get a little bit of that dust in your in your nose you're asking for a world to hurt so we're gonna check this out with the gamma counter here the GQ oh wow it's starting to go off the scale already and I'm not even close to it so this is back by right about where my head is and I'm still getting a count of half a millirankin per hour alright here we go The old Eberline ASP1 here, analog smart portable, old reliable. Got her set to the X100 mark. So I'm going to open up the beta window here on my HP270 probe. Get some beta reception here. I'm going to put that right in that exact same spot. Five millirankins per hour. That is just insane. Mm. 
Yeah, the dial dial isn't even going over 10. It's all in that exposed paint right out there on the mirror. That's the most dangerous part of that compass right there. Big old glop of radium right there, straight up. All right, well, I'm going to put this thing away in a very safe place before I burn a hole in the table. You guys have a good one. Bye.